recommend that you do the quick screen that we talked about, look at those problem areas, circle back with management and have an ergonomist come out because the ergonomist is really going to do an industry standardized tool and they're going to apply it to that work task or that workstation and be able to quantify the risk. They're able to say, this is high ergonomic risk, this is low ergonomic risk. They may also be able to kind of do a what if analysis. So if we changed this one thing, or we if we were able to lower this, raise this, adjust this one thing, what do those results look like? Where you went out initially and took those pictures and took that video, they're able probably also to have kind of a before and after. So being able to show and really give the cost savings from a risk reduction perspective of making that ergonomic change is, I have found is helpful when telling management, look, we need to change this process or we need to buy this pallet rotation or something like that, a uh, specific piece of equipment. So having that ergonomist come out can be really helpful in, in kind of paving the, the way for that change. That's great. I think you mentioned at the beginning that sometimes when you're talking to the employees, they can be your best advocates or your best ergonomists. And mm -hmm. we find that so much as well. And mm -hmm. that, do you think that could play into this? Have, have upper management, have those that are making the decisions actually speak to those involved oh my gosh, yes. and, and standing on the floor or doing these tasks it they can they can say it exactly how it is from experience of doing the job yes exactly and i think i it, it really depends on your facility and kind of what that interaction looks like sometimes upper management who makes those decisions about the the dollars don't really have a lot of interaction with the employees, you know, on a let's t sit down and talk about this perspective. And sometimes they do. So depending on where your company is at in that spectrum, I would use that to your advantage. If you need someone to come in and say, here is the cost of this ergonomic risk for injuries, mostly what we're talking about with changes is a lot cheaper than one sprain or strain injury per OSHA guidelines. So one sprain or strain injury can be thirty to forty thousand dollars. I'm guessing that what you're asking for is probably less than that. So being able to quantify it with dollars and cents sometimes means a lot to that upper management. That's very true. We actually had that testimonial from a safety leader recently too. He said that they had one injury, and he told me that they could have replace their entire facility with premium matting for less than the cost of what this one took to resolve. So 100%. So true. I, Excellent. So true. Mm -hmm.